So good. Hold on, I gotta pre roll out my ones. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There you go, yeah, there you go. No, that's still no one. Oh, good, all the high rolls are disappearing. I know. <laughs> It'll get there eventually, and then I'm good for like another. There, that's a two, close enough. <laughs> Welcome back to the adventure. I'm Yuma Quinn, and I'm the Game Master, facilitating the world. Hello, I'm Damek, and I am playing Samuel. Hi, I'm Davos, and I'm playing Bata, the Bear Barbarian. He comes from the lands up north, and he is exploring worlds outside of his homeland. I am Pony, I will be playing Theron the Sergal, who has a lust for adventure and is definitely not a rogue. I am Hawk, um, I'm playing Arden, a talented and brilliant mage coming from the capital of Atlas. Anywho, um, you have her in bed with you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. um, oh my. Well, this is how we're opening the session, huh? <laughs> well, We've already opened the it's session. It's no bath right scene. <laughs> Bata's is holding Abigail down. Well, I guess, like, well, sitting. It, on is, the bed. Is Abigail's presumably behaving herself now, right? Yes. So she should not need restraint, in theory. In theory. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about letting her go yet. I, I don't, and I look at there and I go, hey, it, it's, it's just... I, ju I just do, like, side eyes to Abigail and back to Theron and back to Abigail and back to Theron. Is she, is she, is she gonna be cool? Uh, well... Theron, Theron holds her freshly scratched snoot and says, I don't know. Um, Abigail, are you going to be cool? Would you maybe like to use your words instead of your claws? Dad's dead. And, wh and when did this happen? It happened after the dragon's tear disappeared and you disappeared mysteriously. We couldn't find you and all the evidence pointed towards you. So he offered to take the blame and get the council to give Mother a chance to fix things. And when she couldn't do that quickly enough, he was hung. It well, wasn't in public. It wasn't. No. They didn't want everybody to know that the dragon's tear was stolen. Wait, who decided to hang him? The council. They wanted to make a point that the dragon's tear was worth more to them than the lives of their members. And they just... Are, Abigail, are you sure he just didn't disappear? Like, I saw it happen. And to make sure he couldn't be reincarnated, they burned the corpse. I... Uh... Would you like me to tell you how they did it? How, how they did what? Burn the corpse? You seem lost for words. Like you didn't expect what you were doing to have any real consequences. You know our mother. I needed to get out of there. She was controlling everything that was happening to me. Was that really so bad? You just have to wait for her to die of old age. Um, Arden is going to give <laughs> Abigail a very mean look. Well, the apple does not fall far from the tree, does it? She's gonna look at you and make a knowledge check. Right, she could have made sure she stayed alive. She's wealthy enough. Good thinking, little wizard person. I'm sorry, what just happened? <laughs> she called Arden Little. I believe your little sister is being a Wait. It's called being courtly. I think she's allowed to be cordial. A little mean right now, considering the situation. That... Thank you, Mr. Large Bear Person. Bata smiles, because he is a large bear person. Well, Theron, not just straight up yells, but more just says like loudly, like, This is not my fault. Yes, it is. No, I didn't choose to kill anybody over this. No, but you caused the events that needed to take place. The council her. did. You sound actually very calm about this. Oh, that's right, because you're like one step closer to being chairman, CEO, whatever of this. That's true. God. So, they're in paces. <laughs> I'm just pissed right now. But I also expected you to abscond from duty. It's kind of rewarding to see you like this. Your father's dead, and you can't even take the responsibility for what you did. You are. You really are lower than dirt. Don't just let like it get Mom under said. your skin, Theron. She's you just trying changed. to piss you off. Theron closes her eyes and grits her teeth, fights back tears. Dad had hoped you'd be better, but really, you're just a child running from responsibility. She right says through gritted teeth, age. you're a monster. 
you know, I really was disappointed in, in this when Theron said that she shunned her family because of how poorly she was treated. I assumed that she was wrong in just being an impetuous child. But, you be right. dear Abigail, you have done so well to prove <laughs> me wrong. It is so satisfying. To know that she was treated as she should be? No. To know, know that Theron was, was right to have turned her back on her family. So you think it's a good thing that dad is dead? I don't think it's a good thing that she that sh- your father is dead. I think it's good that she separated herself from people like you. I agree. I'd prefer her out of my life. Yet here we are. Why are you here? I'm here because I'm being hunted. I may be serving as one of the most important people in the Perch Trading Company, but there are people in the council that now have permission to remove me. Mother's the only one with protection right now, because she physically possesses protection. I, 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 I shudder to think why Mother isn't protecting you. That's why I'm on a boat. This is protection. So Mother isn't helping you? She is. She put her on the boat to hide. Correct. Very inquisitive. So all of this is just one big convenient meeting, totally circumstantial. As far as I'm aware. We're not supposed to talk about the voice in the sky, Samuel. <laughs> so, so... Unless Mother planned it. Um, did your mom give you any parting gift, by any chance? A sack of money. Okay. And instructions. Okay. That um, was... Everybody gets written instructions but me. <laughs> yes, that's what we use for love in our family. Theron had a talking dagger that reported back to... That sounds like Mother. Okay. That's normal? I wouldn't call that normal. She just... gave me earrings one year like that. I'm sure you just loved having them. Yes. It's the best way to get her ear. On her turns. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you were laughing at the earring thing. The pun? Um... Well, you don't want me around. I don't want you around. Do you have the tear? Do you really think she'd be stupid enough to carry it around with her? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I would have heard if someone had sold a tear. Wow. Well, that was pretty ballsy of you to, to go and take a swipe at her. Imagine if she stumbled back and broke it. That would have ruined your life forever. She's making calculations in her head, and it's showing on her face, going between worth it, not worth it. She seems undecided. Do we need to get her a flower? Well, you... Lo- Wait, we are sailing, aren't we? Yes, we're yeah, on we don't sail in this boat. Shut up, Abigail. <laughs> no one's talking to you. <laughs> you you do need to leave the ship. I, I can't even... No, you, you are not getting me off this boat. It is for her safety to stay on. Of course, your first goal is to put me in harm's way. Yeah, I... <sighs> You've been moved down the line for the Birch Trading Company. I could You're give... the... Last person behind the head clerk to gain control of the company. Yeah, I I could give uh, two bugaloos <laughs> <laughs> of care for that. So you can have it. You can have the whole thing. You're willing. You can have mother. You're willing to sign over your rights to all of it. Verbally, I'm doing that. I'll prepare a document. If you sign it later, <laughs> I will pay you half of what mother gave me. Now, how much is that? 2,000 gold pieces. Well, I mean, if I'm going to just get 1,000 gold pieces for something I would have done anyways... Uh... No, you'll get 2,000. She gave me four. Math there and math. <laughs> <laughs> there, you're going to be signing away your... She's being disowned, essentially. Self-disowned. Contractual you... obligation to you're... be disowned. <laughs> yes. To be precise. Anytime Mother wishes, she can remove her. Without fuss. But, uh... Her and the person controlling her purse strings are garbage. And the whole company is garbage. They seem like pretty alright people to me to be protecting the tears. That's right. We protect the tears. You don't. Wow. You're really, your, Abigail? Your city protects the tears, actually. It has a whole society dedicated to it that you are not involved with, other but, than probably a, a financier to look good. Well, they... We do very well in the financing. That's good for you. I'm sure they'll live without you. Well, I'm sure the city benefits from the financing, and if the city's protecting the tears, then... That's correct. It's a group effort. Right. Whatever petty validation you need. 
I'm sure she's like saying that like when you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. God is still she's holding like her, in the, her <laughs> in the eye. <laughs> but for not don't even think for one second that her or any part of the executive staff of this company gives one damn about these things beyond their lucrative value for the city. Like, I know these things mean a lot to you, so don't even, don't even think for a second that these people care one iota for that. They are only using them. And Theron nods toward Bob, like, yes, I was using it too, but <laughs> um, not to the degree that, that they were. I was anticipating you were going to take the tear, have it shattered and sold into pieces. You wouldn't be dumb enough to try and sell it all at once, would you? You know, I didn't... The more I thought about this, the more I just wanted to hurt Mother and the entire company. You succeeded. So I did not think about how much it was going to go for. I mean, You destroyed much. thousands of jobs. You created a slum. You took the only person who ever made Mother happy away from her. You succeeded there. Did you let her clap? Like she got half of her arm motion. <laughs> Hidden circle ability unlocked. She should, she should have done like a slow clap, just like. <laughs> <laughs> she seems all right to me. Are you all right? I'm surprised you can understand the necessities of a society, sir. You impressed me. Oh, it's, it's a little more than just personal gain, I assume, as Bata looks to Theron. Theron is just looking off at the wall at this point, um, thinking about all the things that were just told to her. What are you going to do, Theron, and where is the tear? You know what? Arden's going to start searching our, our restrained friend here. Oh. <laughs> She's still tiny? Oh, uh, well, the three minutes are probably up by now. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles in size on the bed. And Vada still has his hands on her oh, yeah. awkwardly. I his hands are pretty big. Can, can Sam roll the spot for anyone outside? Sure. Um does seem to be many of the goat kin. What so you meant outside the hallway? Or in the hallway rather? In the hallway, kind of around. Anyone that would be <laughs> snooping. There is a shadow being cast from this room outward of someone's legs like under Sam, the door. Sam shuts the door. Our door, not his door. Our door. Okay. So Abigail's still, like, not, now that she's bigger, she's not struggling or anything. She's no. still chill. She's in a room with, like, five or four people that all can jump on her. Okay. It's not smart to... Where's the tear? What's the tear going to do? You're still on the run. The I'm, in fact, I'm surprised mean... Mom is not even doing anything for you beyond giving you her version of love. Of course she's giving you her love. Yeah, you're still on the ship. You weren't willing to accept her love, and that's why you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I want nothing to do with that awful woman. If you give back the tear, they'll stop trying to murder us. They'll? As in they, plural. Who, who are they? Council members. It's not illegal for them to murder us right now. The reason we're not dead is because we possess real power and influence. Well, I... Some oddly specific term. I, I walk over to Bada and put an arm on his shoulder and I'm like, well, is this thing means a lot to you. Do you... I'm not answering. I don't even answer. I'm just like, this means a lot to you. What do you think about this? Um... Drum my fingers. Uh, so, there, there is, there is a problem. Um, I, I trust Abigail. Just wants to put it back. You should not trust Abigail with anything, regardless of the trust over Abigail. I doubt she could handle herself against what comes with taking the dragon's tear. You know nothing about what having the tear means, do you, Abigail? It means I won't be killed. Yes, <laughs> actually, that's quite the contrary. Um, what? The mangled state of your sister is a result of that. I thought it was a result of Abigail. I thought it was a result of bad decisions. Well, <laughs> well dear Abigail, 
Actually, it is a result of bad decisions because by taking it, those bad decisions will come upon you. It would be of great, great convenience to us to not have that thing chase us across the world. But hey, if you take it, it'll just kill you and take it back on its own. And possibly even curse your spire and just end up killing everybody in Rogueport anyway. So, you know, go ahead, take it. Please do. Ruin your family, your home, and your well-being even more. If I give it to this thing, it'll kill all of my political enemies for me. Vasa, tell me, what did, what happened when the Umbra returned the Dragon's Tear to that spire in your lands? Well, we, we, don't, we don't know exactly what happened, because we weren't all there, but the area surrounding that spire is just a wasteland of black sand, and it makes people sick when they go around anywhere near those lands. So yes, it would kill your political rivals, the rest of your family, most people in that city altogether, actually. Instead of just having your company in shambles, it may just disappear completely, along with everybody in a several mile radius. But you know, hey, go ahead and return it. We're trying to figure out how to return it without inciting that curse. Diplomacy check. I will take what you said into consideration. Does anyone have anything to say that doesn't involve a fairy tale? <laughs> um, oh yes, yes, let's take fairy tales from... Let's, how, about, how about this? You, you stick with us for a little bit. What? If, no. Or, or we follow you back to Rockport. Either way. I'm staying on this boat. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, we'll stay on the boat. That's fine. The, the Umbra will come at some point during our travels, right? It's only bound to happen. And then she'll see it. Why would we endanger another person? Despite how much she has it coming for her, I don't think it would be proper for us to unnecessarily endanger another person. How long are we going to be on this boat? However long it takes Where us. are you headed? We're headed north towards Gomphus. You'll be on the boat for another day. That's not too bad. Well, I still think it, it would be more responsible as to avoid exposing anybody mm-hmm. to it that we don't need to. Um, it would be a great way to elucidate uh, what I'm trying to convey to you, but um, as much as I dislike you, I do not want to see you harmed unnecessarily. Stabigail's barely paying attention to the little dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even looking in his face when he's talking to her. Well, I mean, we're only going to be here for a day, right? Yeah. We could just tie her up and just be on our way afterwards, and, you know, Captain can find her. Um, See, that's the right way of thinking, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, actually, did did searching her yield any results? Um, She had some parchment, ink, a fancy pen... Um, she have a key. She does not have a key. Well, Abigail, are we gonna sp- are gonna are we gonna be able to be on the same boat? Yes. Because I don't think I could take another one of these and gestures to her like scrat. If there you're willing scratch to, s- to just put your signature on a piece of paper, I'll let you walk away with the two thousand gold pieces and don't bother me. I want nothing to do with any of you. Good. Sign the paper. You you've got it. Okay. Just get a piece of paper. Take it off of me. Write your name on the bottom left, and I will write everything else around it. And that means you can leave now. Um. <laughs> can can Sam sense motive that? Yes. <laughs> she wants her to sign that. It's a blank check. But uh, specifically, where she like writes around it, is that basically going to be a problem? She would have to be okay with signing a document that hasn't been written yet. It's concerning. Yeah. I don't know what my barrister would do for that. That's like. That is very concerning, actually. <laughs> a little concerning. Sam's just like, there, there, there. Don't, don't do that. Don't oh, do that. okay. <laughs> One, I'm not going to do that, but Sam, they're going to, they do and will do whatever the hell they want. Does so, so, signing the paper have anything to do with... I'm just saying, like, one, I'm not going to sign that, but it doesn't matter what I sign that to. Like, they're just going... They are probably the ones trying to kill me, too. Along with the council. In fact, she was just trying to kill me. Like, how much worse can that be? How does it feel, Theron? Does what feel? To be hunted. Actually, she's been hunted longer than you have. We'll go with that. I chased I chased her halfway across this continent. Mother's been hunting me for a good portion of my life. You forget. How's Keeping your hand tabs. How's feeling, Theron? How's my what? How's your hand feeling? I don't know what you mean. I'd be a little worried. About what? 
When my hand got broken, Mother replaced one of my finger bones with an a false one. What? Everything I hear, she can hear. <laughs> well, that's good. That's that's wonderful. And your mother is aware that she has nothing to do with the family anymore then, too. And what dangers elicit just taking the tear back have. So, thank you. That saved us a lot of busy work and paperwork. I need that in writing. Write it out. That's ridiculous. Then let you me go write it out. I'm currently held down by a very large, attractive bear man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 me. Well, can he let you go? Do I look like a threat at this point? You look stupid You are enough. always a threat. Thank Thank let's you. go. So, yes, you do. Can he... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> she gets up and quickly grabs a piece of paper and starts writing out your... Uh, Contract. Like, that's like will and testament. <laughs> Pretty much. It essentially means you get nothing and they give you some money now. But if you want more details, Knowledge Barrister versus hers. Sure. She'll get a 24. Uh, she, oh, she man, was serious 20 about studying. One. <laughs> oh, my God. 21. It looks like there's no funny business. You're literally giving away your... Um, rights to anything from the company and in exchange you get some money and you also no longer would be a member of the family in good standing what does that entail um she can keep the last name but she is no longer a attached part of the legal entity you're sending away your protection protection (laughs) more like shackles um this is freedom you'll be cut loose yeah, more so my freedom from you. Sign it. Sign it. God, you're garbage. They're just, it, it doesn't seem like they're, they can't be that bad. I mean, they're just, they're just looking out for you, that's all. Like, I don't, I don't understand why. They're run from people with books. Ar- Arden. <laughs> Real quick and gives her an incredulous look. Had a very comical idea. <laughs> she became very good at leaping over fences to escape her tutors. You, were you just not wanting to study and learn? Whoa, man! You're taking <laughs> lessons from Stabigail here? What's going on, Bada? I, I sign this thing and go like, you want to be nothing like her, okay? Trust me. I've lived this. I sign it and just throw it. Throw Thank it you. at Abigail. Don't worry. I doubt you'll ever be well read. <laughs> I don't care, Here's Abigail. a large sack of money. Thank you. What, what did I get? 2,000 gold pieces in a sack. Is it a velvet sack? It's a burlap sack. Oh. Yeah, actually, just I'm going to detect magic on that sack of gold. No magic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sack work. is probably somewhere around... It didn't work on Cheddar. Oof, Jesus. So she's going to more like drag it from under the bed over to you. <laughs> it's like obvious what he's doing, right? Hmm. The tech magic? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Few, few, what, do your eyes glow? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I will let you know after a few rounds... Her left finger, or her one of her index finger on her left hand does glow a little bit. Hmm. I didn't see that on the initial cast. Hmm. 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 Interesting. There is a little bit of illusion magic attached to it, in addition to um, divination. Okay. So, you, so while you're going, money! He's going, mm-hmm. No, I, I, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I take it, I'm just like, it's basically just free money, because like, I would have done it without it, honestly. Theron does not say that, though. You just, um, you just you just signed your 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 family away for some gold. Bata, she doesn't need it. The money? Yeah, I know she doesn't need it. The family. <sighs> if 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 she is anything like the rest of her family, then she's better off on her own. So they're they're a little angry right now, but I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> they're, they're... Uh, I I know that you weren't in Rogueport to see what I saw, but knowing what happened and the way that Arden looks over to Abigail and trails off um, person is behaving, um, clearly she doesn't belong with them. Bada, think about this. Um, what kind of family would actually draw up a contract to get me out of it? A discerning family. A business family? Correct. Right. Business first, family last. Family second. Wow. She really has you over a barrel, or you're just going to take care of Mother Want. You are... 
I don't know which one's worse, you or mom. I how how are we going? So you're telling me you're going to be on this boat and you're going to not attack me in a doorway? No. I think I got that out of my system. Okay. And rest assured, if you don't have that out of your system, I'll be there to embarrass you again. That was, that was, thank you, Arden. <laughs> Please leave my room. <laughs> Ar- Arden smiles with smug satisfaction and leaves the room. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to tell me twice. And I stomp out. He must be a mud. Gonna have I guess Bot is still there. Yeah. You gonna have love scene now? No. As in Bot and Error, Abigail, go at it. I just realized Bot and Sam are still standing there. <laughs> Sorry. Awkward. It's like, um, oh. Yes. Of, hmm? I like both of you just a little bit. Um, <laughs> Sam just looks at her and Bot is kind of like pointing at a dog. I was gonna follow them. Please do. So Bot leaves. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to be a bother, ma'am. You're door. a messenger, correct? Sam looks at the circle lady and says, Yes, madam, I am. When you come back this way, I'd like to give you a letter. When you're headed towards Rogueport. Sam calculates for a moment. Says, I might be able to do that. I'm sure you I can afford the expense. But then he also turns and says, If you know what I do, then you know what standards I'm held to. And let me assure you, madam... That the fairy tales we have been reciting today are indeed real. Do I roll for that, or do I just leave? Yep. Okay. The bone scene. Whee. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she rolls a natural one. Oh, oh. Well. Thirteen. Oh, double digits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that into consideration. And then Sam, Sam leaves and shuts the door before she can even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just mouthed for her a moment. <laughs> I guess. What, what, does she, what does she want? She wants me to carry a letter for her. Yep, seems... Okay, that seems fine. I will assess its contents before we go. Okay. So, out, out, of, out of character question, how does this boat move? That's a good question. Do you want to go look for that? Oars? Uh, There's no oars. Okay, I guess I guess Bata oh, would not be or, familiar or with the way boats work here. So. <laughs> Does Bata go on Th- a there discovery are stairs mission? That go, there are stairs that go downstairs. Mm-hmm. You want to go somewhere alone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what this weird thing that's floating. So would Bata just be like, huh? 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 He, I, yeah, I don't think there have there are any large bodies of water where he's from, though. So. How does this thing move? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to make a check to try and go find out? No? No? I'm not interested in being alone in a dark place? I'm sure we will all find out in due time. 